In this video we're going to multiply both sides of an equation by the reciprocal. To solve it we'll look at um, finding reciprocals for fractions on page 1 and on page 2 we'll do these four examples and on page 3 we'll do these two examples. So let's start with page 1 and we'll just get an idea for what a reciprocal is in case you don't remember. So write down uh, what the, is the reciprocal of two-thirds. Do you remember? The reciprocal of two-thirds. Reciprocal simply means the same fraction flipped upside down. Okay. Now it'll have the same sign as well. So it's the same fractions flipped upside down with the same sign. So the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is simply 3 over 2. Right? 3 over 2. And what's the reciprocal of one fifth? Write down the reciprocal of one fifth. It's the same fraction flipped up the upside down. The reciprocal is five over one. Right? Just for fun, what does that simplify to? What's five over one? Five divided by one is five. Now, what's negative 7 fourths flipped upside down? What's the reciprocal of negative 7 fourths? Negative 7 quarters. So, you, it has the same sign, and you flip the fraction upside down. So that's going to be 4 over 7 with the same sign, which is a negative. Okay, so the reciprocal of that is negative 4 sevenths. What is the reciprocal of negative a half? The reciprocal of negative a half. It is the same fraction flipped upside down, and it'll have the same sign. Okay. So flip the fraction upside down, keep the sign the same. Two over one, and the sign is what? Negative. Now just for fun, can you simplify negative two over one? What does that give you? Negative two over one is simply negative 2. Okay. Now what about A over B? What's the reciprocal of A over B? Any idea? Well the reciprocal of 2 over 3 was 3 over 2. Right? The reciprocal of 1 over 5 was 5 over 1. So what's the reciprocal of A over B? Well it's just B over A. Right? And just for fun, what's the reciprocal of negative 1 over C? Flip the fraction upside down, and what do you have? You have C over 1. And the sign stays the same. So negative C over 1. And can you simplify negative C over 1? Well, negative 2 over 1 is negative 2. So what's negative C over 1? It's negative C, right? Okay, so that's the reciprocal revised. Now, let's solve this equation. 3 over 4x equals 9. Write down 3 over 4x equals 9, and we'll solve that. Okay. So, when we have the, the letter is being multiplied by a fraction, what we do is we take the reciprocal of the fraction and multiply both sides by the reciprocal. And that's just a real easy way of solving the equation. Okay? So the reciprocal of three quarters is what? The reciprocal of three quarters is four over three. So just flip the fraction upside down. And if I multiply this side by four thirds, I must multiply this side also by four thirds. Now the reason we're doing that is because look what happens on over here. What happens over there is you have four times three on the top, which is twelve, over three times four on the bottom, which is also twelve. And you also have an x. So twelve over twelve x. Which is the same thing as what? What's twelve divided by twelve? 12 divided by 12 is 1. So that's the same thing as 1x or x. So that's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 4 goes once, 
3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once. See, we can cross cancel, and that leaves us with 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, which is just 1 over 1, which is just 1x, or x, right? So this becomes 1x, right? And that's why you multiply it by the reciprocal. Anyway, and um, then we just simplified the right hand side. So I was just showing you two ways of looking at, at it that, that this becomes 1. So 9 can be written as a fraction. Write 9 as a fraction. 9 as a fraction is 9 over what? 9 over what is a fraction? 9 over 1, right? So change your 9 to 9 over 1. And now you'll see that you can multiply the tops. 9 times 4 is 36 over 1 times 3 is 3 and 36 over 3 is 12. But it's easier to do this. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 9 goes three times and three times four over one three times four is twelve so we have one x equals twelve or just x equals twelve Okay. now write this one down two over five h equals eighty it's kinda like saying two-fifths of a house is eighty thousand dollars that's like a down payment or something right So two fifths of the house costs eighty thousand dollars. What is the price of the full house, right? So to solve this equation, we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of two fifths. What's the reciprocal of two fifths? What's two fifths flipped upside down? Well, it's just five over two. But you must multiply this side also by the same thing. So if you multiply the left by 5 over 2, you must multiply the right also by 5 over 2. Okay? And the reason we multiply by the reciprocal is because, well, 5 times 2 is 10, and 2 times 5 is 10. You get 10 over 10, which is 1, so 1h. One or you can look at it this way. 5 to 5 goes once, 5 to 5 goes once. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once. And we have 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, that's 1h. Right or just h equals one h h, but we've got to get one x or one h. That's the goal. That's the reason we're multiplying by res by a reciprocal to get a coefficient of one beside the letter. Okay. Now can you do this? Eighty times five over two. I want you to write eighty as a fraction. Eighty is eighty over what? Eighty as a fraction is eighty over one. Okay. And you can go 80 times 5 is 160, 160 over 2 gives, um, no, 80 times 5 is, sorry, 400, and 402 over 2 gives 200, but it's easier to do it this way. 2 into 2 goes once, right? 2 into 4, or sorry, 2 into 8 goes 4 times, and 2 into 0 goes 0 times. So 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 80 goes 40 times, and what's 40 multiplied by 5? 40 multiplied by 5 is 200. So we began with, if 2 fifths of the house is $80,000, then the entire house will cost $200,000, right? Okay, so write this one down. 5 over 7, y equals 15 over 14. 5 over 7y equals 15 over 14. Now, we have 5 over 7 times y. What we want to get, just like in the last equation, we got 1x, we got 1h, that's what we want. What we want to get is 1 times y equals something. Okay? So we want to get 1 times y equals something. How do I turn the 5 sevenths into a 1? To turn the 5 7 into a 1, I multiply it by what? I've got to multiply it by the reciprocal of 5 7, which is 7 over 5. Okay? And if I multiply that side by 7 fifths, I must also multiply this side by 7 fifths. Okay? And does anything cross cancel? Well, obviously, here 7 into 7 goes once, 7 into 7 goes once, 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 5 goes once, okay? Or you could have thought of this as 35 over 35, which makes 1, right? And can we cross-cancel here? 
what can we cross cancel over on the right hand side? On the right hand side we can cross cancel what? Well 5 to 5 goes once, 5 to 15 goes 3 times. 7 into 7 goes once, 7 into 14 goes 2 times. So we have 1y equals now 3 on the top we have 3 times 1 which is 3 over 2 times 1 which is 2. So 1y equals 3 over 2 and in algebra we usually leave uh, fractions as improper fractions. I mean you could convert that to one and a half if you want to but usually in algebra we just leave it as an improper fraction so um, uh, but, it, but by all means write it as both if you like but the, so the answer is just y equals 3 over 2. So please write this one down and do it all by yourself. 8 over 9a equals negative 48 over 45 8 ninths times a equals negative 48 40 fifths. Please write it down, press pause and do it all by yourself and then check the answer. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So we have 8 ninths times a, but what we want is 1a equals something. Okay, we want 1a equals something. We want to turn the 8 ninths into a 1. So what do we multiply it by? I hope you press pause and try this. I'm just running over it just in case you need help. To multiply, you got to multiply it by the reciprocal, which is 9 eighths. Okay? And you also must multiply this side by 9 eighths. So if you multiply the left by 9 eighths, you multiply the right by 9 eighths. Okay? If you multiply the left by 9 eighths, we get 9 times 8 72 over 8 times 9, 72. 72 over 72 is 1, or even easier, 9 to 9 goes once here and here, 8 and 8 goes once here and here, and we get 1a, okay? 1a, which is what we want. On the right hand side, 8 and 8 goes once, 8 and 48 goes, how many times? 6 times. 9 into 9 goes once, what's 9 into 45? 9 to 45 goes five times. So we get a negative, negative, six times one over five times one, that's six fifths. Okay, so a equals negative six fifths, and we have some um, coefficients of the variables that are negative. Okay, so write this one down negative three over two x equals nine over eight negative 3 over 2 x equals 9 over 8. How are we going to solve this? Any idea? We're going to use the exact same method. We just need to remember that the reciprocal is a negative number as well. Okay. So the reciprocal of negative 3 over 2 is also a negative. So it's the same fraction flipped upside down, which makes two thirds, okay? And it's also a negative, right? So the reciprocal of negative three over two is negative two over three. And that's why we went over the reciprocal in the first video, just to make sure you're up to speed on that. So we were saying how the reciprocal of negative seven fourths is negative four sevenths and all that. Okay? Anyhow, so the reciprocal of negative 3 over 2 is negative 2 thirds, and we multiply both sides by negative 2 thirds. Okay? So give yourself some space and write this neatly. The trick is to give yourself space, write it neatly, and you won't make a mistake then. And the reason we're multiplying by the reciprocal is because, and indeed a negative number, is because on the on the left hand side, look at this, negative times negative. Let's multiply these guys out just to see why we're doing this. What's a negative times a negative? It is a positive. Okay. And now if I multiply these fractions, so you can put parentheses around that too if you want to. If I multiply both these fractions, you see 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once. 3 into 3, the 3's cross cancel also, don't they? 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once. So the negative times negative gives a positive. 
And now we have 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, which is just a big 1. We have positive 1, and we still have the x, of course. Positive 1 x equals what? So think about the sign on this guy. A positive times a negative gives what? Positive times a negative gives? Negative. And we can cross cancel as well, can't we? What can we cross cancel? Well, 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 9 goes 3 times. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 8 goes 4 times. So we have a positive times a negative, that's a negative number. We have 3 times 1 over 4 times 1. So that makes 3 over 4. So on the left hand side we ended up with positive 1x. On the right hand side we ended up with negative 3 quarters. Now positive 1x is the same thing as 1x or just x. So the answer was x equals negative 3 quarters. I would like you to make sure you multiply out the left hand side just to be sure that you're getting positive 1x because that's how you make sure you multiplied by the correct uh, thing. In this case negative 2 thirds. Okay. So please write this one down and then do it the whole thing yourself. It's negative 5 over 4 times y equals 5 sixteenths. Please write it down, press pause and do the whole thing yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm gonna do it now. I'm just gonna make that a little neater. So negative sign there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 5 fourths. Okay. Now the reciprocal is the same fraction flipped upside down. It is 5 over 4, sorry, uh, so the same sign with the fraction flipped upside down. So it's 4 fifths turned on its head, right? And it's a negative. So negative 4 fifths. Okay, 4 in the top, 4 in the bottom, 5 in the top, 5 in the bottom. So these guys will cross cancel now, okay? and the negative times negative will give positive and that's what we want so the reason we're multiplying by the negative four fifths is because a negative times negative gives a positive and a four times five is twenty and a five times four is twenty so you get twenty over twenty which is one or you can think of it this way four and four goes once here and here five and five goes once here and here you get one times one over one times one which is one and we still have a y positive one y so we are multiplying by the correct thing. And I'm checking it here. See, I'm going negative times negative is positive. That's good. Positive 1y, which is the same thing as y. Isn't it? 1y is just y. And that's what we want. We want a 1y. Okay? So we must multiply the other side also by... Well, multiply the right by the same thing we multiplied the left. So negative 4 fifths multiply the right by negative four fifths, right? Now we have a positive times a negative. What's the sign on the right hand side? The sign is negative. Does anything cross cancel? Lots of stuff. You can do this, you can go five times four is twenty. Right? If you want to. Over sixteen times five is eighty. And eventually that becomes one quarter. But it's easier to cross cancel. 5 and 5 goes once, here and here. 4 and 4 goes once. 4 to 16 goes 4 times. And you have 1 times 1 on the top. 1 times 1 is 1. What's 4 times 1? 4 times 1 is 4. So we have positive 1y equals negative a quarter, or just y is negative a quarter. Okay?